Alright guys, welcome back to Syrian Warfare. Um, the battle begins. We will put our troops. We just received some reinforcement by trucks. And um, we will just get our troops ready. Um, so here I just fiddle around with the behavior. Um, there's aggressive, there's ambush, and there's default, so regular. Um, Alright, so my truck is here. I will deploy the troops and I will exit the vehicle for my uh, drivers as well. So keep in mind in this game you keep the troops to further uh, battles. So it's important to keep them alive, okay? And um, there, you see there's a green icon under them that means everyone is a-okay. The yellow will mean they are wounded, and the red would mean they suffered casualties. Uh, if they are wounded, they will heal themselves over time. But uh, as, your, you, as you keep your units, they gain experiences. You can see it on the ranks. When you select them, there's that little image of, uh, of a soldier with the, it says police snipers and their name. And on the left, it says uh, if there's a green box. If there's a rank in the green box, it means they they gain ranks. And so it's important to keep people so that they are better fighters. All right, so now we're being attacked savagely by the enemy. ISIS is attacking us, and we're just trying to defend here as best we can. This is an actual attack that happened in real life uh, on a lot of police stations around Aleppo during the start of the war. And I put a link in the first video of that series, I put a link to see the real attack on the police station. Well, on one of them. Alright, so we fend off the first assault. Um, there's still remnants here in the house. But, you know, they're as good as dead. So I brought everyone to the police station to bring as much firepower as I could on the house and finish these guys off uh, quickly. Oh, alright, they're dead. Strange armed men have taken the mosque. They've desecrated the house of Allah. People, gather up. They invaded the city from the other side. If they manage to regroup there, they'll cut through the city like a knife. We have to take back the mosque to keep that from happening. They're desecrating our mosque. We must expel the blasphemers and all. Alright, so they've taken the mosque, and now the civilians are going to start getting angry. You see the red dots on the map? Uh, these are the civilians. They will take arms eventually as they get angrier and angrier. They are on our side, so it's it's a good thing, okay? Don't freak out. Um, Alright, so I'm going to organize a little raiding party on the mosque. And there you go. So it's important. Smoke has a huge effect in this game, but people are 
less likely to die if you put smoke. It's more difficult to aim precisely, um, as smoke would serve in real life. They, they, they actually. In this game, smoke is good. That's what I'm gonna say. Use it, and you've got a lot of it as well. So, see those units in the house? These are police force, regular squads. See those units debarking the truck? This, the blue one is the crew. It says a uh, vehicle crew. The one with the gun is a RPG squad, and the one with the uh, the aiming symbol, this one, those are snipers. All right, there are two teams, snipers. The RPG are three guys usually, and the police squads are four. So you've, you've got specialized units there, and they all serve a good role. <coughs> Sorry, the police the police snipers are really good. I've noticed a lot of times. Um, they would shoot, they actually kill people, and so I think it's a good thing to have. Alright, so we put smokes on the horizon. We are going to move from uh, the building Look right in front. Alright, so the civilians are now storming the place. We'll try to help them as much as we can. Hello, who is it? Anwar, this is Majid Hoja. There they are, the running in town, no cover. Oh my god. Help us. So now I have to put my troops in danger. I'll put some smoke around first. Uh, see, there's a vehicle over there that's shooting uh, in the middle of the street. Alright, the angry mob is there. Smoke is all over, and I'm ordering my guys to assault the building. So, I'll let the civilians go first. Um, they're kind of like uh, a shield meet. But my guys are right behind. I just don't want them to take the brunt of the force. Alright, the assaults begin. Oh, there's the civilians. Oh, I think I may have gone behind them. Anyway. Oh, we've captured the mosque. The flag symbol changed from ISIS to Syria. I think, uh, yeah, we're part of Assad's army. Um, okay, and now we need to destroy this vehicle and the house beside. Come in, Wazir. This is Al Din. What's going on? Colonel, this is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Captain Wazir is dead. We're under attack. What? Did those devils get to you too? Ah, Wazir was a good man. Report the situation over there, Lieutenant. The enemy has been attacking us since morning. They seem to be terrorist groups. They're well armed and they're attacking from multiple sides. We're holding the entrances to the city, but I'm not sure how much longer we'll be able to do it. Understood, Lieutenant. Hold on, and I'll ask the army to send you some backup. In the meantime, I'll send you whatever I can find here. Alright, so now we just need to hold on on these. I'm going to reinforce um, some places. The mosque and the police station. And you see now you've got that reinforce symbol right here. So now we can choose our reinforcement. You got command points and each thing costs command points. 150, 200, 100. And uh, eventually we'll be able to get the better equipment, tanks, artillery, and uh, helicopters. But for now we're, we've just got some police squads. So I think uh, these twos are going to be good enough. I don't want to waste too many command points. Yeah. All right, and so now the it will be the intermission. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. The next battle, if you're interested, I encourage you to watch. 
and hope you had fun watching. So have a good night, evening, morning, whatever. The enemy is regrouping to attack.